Hi there, Mouseketeers! Welcome back to my channel, or hey there if this is your first time coming by and you just like the sound of this video from the title and the thumbnail. This is going to be my first ever pin board. I intended to do one in September, but um, the pin board I've really loved on Amazon went out of stock. So I was really depressed and I, I just couldn't get what I wanted in my head, so I, I just wound up not doing it. And so this is my first pin board. I th would like to try to do them monthly, but I mean, fingers crossed, we'll see how it turns out because this was a huge undertaking. Um, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I'm not good at measurements, friends. I'm gonna tell you that right off the bat. So when I saw this pin board on Amazon, I didn't really bother to check the dimensions because it would have been meaningless to me anyway. And uh, you could probably tell from the thumbnail, but this board is ginormous. Not even sure if I'm getting the whole thing in right now. But it's huge. And I just got it because I thought it was really cute, to be quite honest. And I don't think I can find it in smaller proportions. Um, so I'm not sure if this is going to be my every month pin board or if this maybe will just be for like months when I have a ton of things to show you. But for my pin boards, I decided I really want to do things that are also non pins. Like you're going to see some park maps on here, you're going to see some card backers, you're going to see a, a card. You're going to see um, maybe some artwork in the future, maybe some photographs in the future. There are buttons on here. So I think that the, the space is good because I do intend on putting many, many, many things on these pin boards. But if you're overwhelmed with how big this size is, it's okay. We're together on that. I am so overwhelmed by this. <laughs> I really love it. I intend on getting my brother-in-law to um, hang some pretty serious hardware on the back of this and hang it up for me in my living room. Um, so that way I can enjoy it throughout the months. Obviously, I mean, this one I'll probably keep up for a couple of weeks, but I'm, I'm going to try to get my November pin board. I think my November pin board is going to really focus on John and I because our anniversary is actually the first day of December. So I kind of feel like I might do like a John and Kate pin board um, at the end of November um, officially. And then my December one will obviously be Christmas themed. So I do have some ideas in the works. I'm not sure if all of those pins will be on this board or if I'll be successful in finding a smaller, slightly smaller board that I like. So I really need you guys to tell me, do you like the size of this board? Like, do you like all the extras that are on it? Like, not just pins? And I just kind of really want your thoughts and your opinions. Um, and, you know, obviously like, I'm not going to do a good job of, there we go, it all fits in the frame like this, so you can kind of see there are a crap load of pins on this board, but we also have a couple buttons down here, we have a Halloween card, and we have um, a Hong Kong Disneyland Park map. So I'm going to take you through a tour of this board, I'm going to put this down flat and then bring the camera to meet the pins so I can talk to you about them, but um, let, let's get this bad boy started. I'm, I'm really excited to share my first ever pin board with you and that it is super Halloween themed. Okay, so first I just wanted to show you an overall view of the board and um, kind of explain the sections that are in it. So the centerpiece of this board is non-American park pins. We have a small Nightmare Before Christmas theme we'll get to. We do of course have some villains because it's Halloween season. And then we have a trick-or-treater real Halloween themed section. And then we finish up with um, some Disney ducks and also some randos that I'll explain in a little bit. But um, I'm really excited. I think we're gonna start in the dead center. As they say at the Haunted Mansion, we'll go to the dead center of the room, or in this case, the board. So the very first pin that I want to focus on is a pin that was sent to me um, in a pin swap by my friend Taryn from the channel Twinkle Bell Taryn. And I'm totally and utterly obsessed with this pin. It is Mickey and Minnie and it's from Tokyo Disneyland. I want to see if I can get like um, a couple close-ups of the details here. So you can see this is Halloween 2016, which is not necessarily a relevant Halloween for me, but I don't care. Um, I love all the little jack-o'-lantern faces around, especially like this super grumpy guy right here. Like he is just totally giving me all the feels. I love Minnie's spidery bow. It's kind of reminding me of the mayor from Nightmare Before Christmas. I love how they're dressed, the castle in the background. Oh, look at this like 
her dress fans out to have this like spider web sleeve. That's cool. I didn't notice that detail before. And then the pill pin itself is shaped like a pumpkin, which is super amazing. And I like that you can see like it has the cloth on the back of this board. It's why I like it so much. Um, and you can see this is a stained glass element because you can even see the cloth from behind it. So what I decided to do was actually surround Mickey and Minnie, since they are from Tokyo, with some Hong Kong pins. And now the, this is the complete set of the, like the steam pumpkin look from that Hong Kong release this year. And I went in a very specific order. So I started over here, we'll go um, counterclockwise with Donald and Daisy. And Daisy, this is the pin that everybody was Team John on, where everybody hated it, but I love it. I think Robin from Oh Holo Robin eventually did tell me that she liked it too, so thanks, Robin. Then we pan down and we see Steampunky Chip. We have um, Pluto and Goofy over here. Goofy, of course, first, and then Pluto is purple. And then we start getting into our, oh no, then we have Mickey and Minnie, and they are arguably two of the creepier characters from this set. And I do want to thank uh, my friend Beth, another awesome pin YouTuber who traded me this Minnie Mouse, and then another pin I'll show you in a second. Um, and, and those were all the only ones I needed to complete my set, so that was super awesome. I do like Minnie, and she's almost giving me even like Christmassy vibes, to be quite honest, with that bow. It always almost reminds me of like a poinsettia, but just really like it. Her mouth is super creepy. Mickey, I think, is the creepiest one from the set. I, I said in the video where I opened him that I kind of just feel like he looks like a voodoo doll version of himself. Like if I stabbed this pin with a needle, Mickey himself would feel it. Then we have um cookie who kind of is great because she's almost doing like a lady from lady and the tramp impersonation or having a costume on it kind of looks like and then stella lou the amazing ballerina bunny i think this is one of the cutest pins from the entire set it's really turning me more into a stella lou fan to be quite honest and this was the other pin that beth traded me to complete my set Gelatoni, my love. I absolutely am obsessed with him. And I really like that he has the little stalk of the pumpkin representing his beret. And his ears are not very pumpkin-y, are they? But they're still cute and cat-like. And then finally, I wrapped up with Duffy and Shelly May up at the top. And I, I just wanted them to be kind of looking into one another's eyes. I could have put Mickey and Minnie here as well, but I decided to put more emphasis on my Hong Kong friends. As we go up the board, there is this open edition pin set that I purchased from the Pinderella shop on Facebook. And I kept them with their backer card because I actually really like it. It's the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, obviously, and the characters are dressed up like bellhops. And look at this little detail that I really hadn't noticed. I really haven't noticed this before, but look in the hat box that Goofy is carrying. It actually has like monster eyes looking out at him, and I think that's a really fun detail. And of course we have my, my boy Donald, and a lot of people's favorites, Pluto is using his teeth to carry up this suitcase. And so Tower of Terror is my favorite ride. My favorite ride with John is Haunted Mansion, but by myself, my favorite ride is Tower of Terror, and I just really enjoyed this set. I'll probably do more Haunted Mansion pins on their own board, but I liked the idea of this for Halloween because it kind of looks like they're in costume. Speaking of costume, on this side of the board, I have Duffy wearing a Captain Hook hat. So he's in costume there, and I think this is really sweet. And this is part of a Hidden Mickey set. This might be a fake, might be a scrapper, I don't know. And I don't care because I'm not giving it to anyone else. I'm using it for my own personal collection, and I really like it. The hat's kind of dark, though, so I'm wondering if it's a scrapper. As we pan back on this side, we see another one from the same Hidden Mickey set, Duffy wearing Dopey's hat. And I just, I think that's really cute that they're in costume, to be quite honest. Another one I picked up from Walt Disney World pin trading. And so if I pan back, you can kind of see they are flanking the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror pins. To the left of Duffy is going to be Venom, this Venom pin from a kawaii version of the Avengers pack. And I opened that pack, but I kind of went out trading most of them away. I just kept Venom. Actually, I didn't know I didn't open Venom. I purchased or traded for this Venom and I really like him. And I think I included him here because I have a kind of a theme on this board of it's really not so scary, like Mickey's Halloween party theme. 
And, I mean, does Venom really look that scary in kawaii form? I don't think so. Then continuing on, we have Mike Wazowski. And again, he's not so scary, even though he really tries to be very hard in Monsters, Inc. to be scary. And I included him specifically on this board because my friend Robin from Oh Hello Robin said he looks like Vampire Mike, and I totally agree with that. So he's on here because he's giving us those Halloween vibes. Below Venom is this absolutely really fun Halloween card. And as soon as I saw it, I had to pick myself up a version of it because it has all the characters with their trick-or-treat bags. And trick-or-treat is another kind of theme of this board. And it says, the whole gang's here with Mickey Mouse to search this spooky haunted house. And to hang up this card, I included this box lunch pin that I included in my most recent collective haul. And it's Donald. And he's dressed as a devil. And I'm really super excited about that. And that's why I also put the Donald from the Hong Kong set over where I did. Look at his like little horns on his, it, it, like is it on a hood or are they poking through the hood? I don't know. Either way, it's cute. I love his little webbed feet also. Um, and the tail is really great, the pitchfork. I like that he's like Happy Donald here too. But the reason I specifically included this pin, let me show you. If we take Donald off, we can open up the card now. It says, but that's not all they're here to do. They're wishing lots of fun for you as they search that spooky house. But here's the whole reason I bought this card. <laughs> like this makes me laugh every single minute and second that I look at it. And I was wondering when I saw this card, I was like, but where's Donald? Oh, he's that little goodie for you on the inside. And so I just had to put the two devil Donalds together. Love it. So then that was the inspiration behind this left side of the board, which is Disney Ducks, and I hope to expand this collection wildly from next year's pin board. I'm starting with this pin that I purchased for a very cheap price on a Facebook group, and it's Uncle Donald obviously dressed as a vampire with Huey, Dewey, and Louie dressed as a devil. I guess he's emulating his uncle there. A pirate and an Indian or a Native American. And they all have their trick-or-treat buckets as well. And this was a, a, a pin, I believe, that was exclusive for Disney Visa card holders at, uh, at one year. Let me take a look and see if I can figure out the year. So I did look, and this pin was from 2004, so quite a long time ago. But then if we pan down, we have a pin of Donald from this most recent year. And it says, I'm just here for the candy. This is Donald's devil costume for... Mickey's not so scary this current year, and this is one of the only pins I purchased this Halloween um, that was specifically Halloween. I really enjoy this. I love how they put the four the in the moon, and everything about Donald is just, yes, he's for me. And it's very shiny too, so that always works out. Here, pins I bought before I even really started collecting. I bought these in 2016. They're open edition, and they are Donald and Daisy as um, people who work at the Haunted Mansion. I think the maid and the butler and I think their costumes are just phenomenal let's see how close we can get for detail pretty much that's the closest we're gonna get and I I love everything about this from their expressions to their hand positioning to their feet positioning even like everything about this screams attitude and you'll definitely see these guys again when I do like a haunted mansion board specifically because this is not a haunted mansion board but I love the again the idea that they're kind of just in costume and then to go along with that, I did include the gargoyle from the First Kingdom of Cute set. Again, you'll you'll be seeing him again probably fairly soon as well, since I'll be doing a John and Kate board, and Haunted Mansion is John and Kate's favorite couple ride. I don't have a lot of information for you on this next Huey, Dewey, and Louie pin, but again, they're they're shown a lot of times in the same kind of costumes. Sometimes they're also like ghosts, but a lot of times they're pirates, devils, and Native Americans. This is a very simple pin. I got this from um a live sale my disney art on instagram and i did have to pay quite a bit for this this is one of the more expensive pins on this board actually but it's very it doesn't have a date on the back it's pretty old I, i'm guessing based on that fact and i really like it and i again i'm hoping to be able to expand my huey dewey and louie specifically halloween collection for next year to fill in this section of the board, I included Donald and Minnie, since they're represented a lot on this board, as the skull and crossbones versions of themselves. John really likes these pins. I'm a little bit neutral, but I thought they went really well together. They're from a booster set with a few of the other, like, Fab Five characters. 
And then this Minnie Mouse pin, I mean, she's in costume, right? As a princess and Princess Minnie. It's perfection. This is a Tokyo Disney pin, and I purchased this on Instagram from Allison's Pins. Down here, we really get to the trick-or-treating side of the board, and the park bound button that is in the middle says I'm here for candy I know this is a lot of your favorites for my park bound button box unboxing and I really do enjoy Mickey and Minnie in their costumes especially because I never see Mickey as a skeleton Minnie is oftentimes portrayed as a witch but Mickey is a skeleton you don't see that a lot and then the background of the pin or the button I should say has lots of candies in the purple section and lots of jack-o-lanterns in the orange section so that's pretty cool and then also to continue the theme of having Hong Kong pins on this board, this is a four pin booster set that I purchased from DisneyAddict.Trade on Instagram. And these four pins represent four just amazing characters going out as trick or treaters. So again, my love for Disney Ducks is evident here. This is probably, this might be my second favorite pin from this booster set. It's Donald Duck. I love that his hat is yellow. I love that he's a sheet ghost. I love that his little webbed feet stick out and he's saying boo. I don't think he's very scary though. Not so scary. Moving down, we see Baymax and he's holding up the candy that he maybe just got. He is um, holding up a lollipop, which is great because that's what the doctors give you when, you know, when you're done your, your appointment. And I heard somebody say that they thought he was dressed up like a magician, but to me, I was thinking more a vampire, actually. So I'd love to hear from you guys if you think he's more magician or vampire, because um, the top hat might suggest magician, but the cape to me is all vampire. Moving to this side, we see Judy Hops. I know this was a super popular pin this year, and Judy's going trick-or-treating. She has her police badge. She has her little balloon, which I'm a big balloon fan, by the way. I love her big blue eyes. You could automatically tell it's Judy. Her little trick-or-treat basket is a bunny rabbit, which is so, so sweet. And then she has a little bonus ghost in the background. Like, what's not to love about this? Moving up, we have the final of the four pins, and it is Finnick, the Fennec Fox, and his trick-or-treat bucket is also him when he's dressed up as an elephant. He's actually dressed up in a double costume because he's dressed up in his elephant gear, and then he's also a sheet ghost. So it's actually kind of funny that of the four, they're all sheet ghosts except Baymax. Hmm, interesting. Okay, moving up underneath that awesome Halloween card, we just have uh, to commemorate the anniversary of Hocus Pocus. This was These were three of the four pins from a set that was released at the Parks Open Edition this year. The other featured the Sanderson sisters. I don't really, I mean, I like the movie Hocus Pocus. It's not one of my faves. I watched it a lot growing up because my mom liked it, so I kind of feel like I'm burned out on it, to be quite honest. But I really liked these three pins specifically, and I got these all in a trade. I actually traded someone specifically for the cat pin, and they were kind enough to zap me the black flame candle pin. And then my friend Melissa traded me the cauldron, which says, it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. And I mean, that just screams Halloween. Love it. And I'm also going to have some more kitty cats on this board coming up as well. Moving down, we see Ohana means nobody gets tricked. Just another amazing button from Parkbound Buttons. I, I think Stitch is just phenomenal here. He's, I think he's a vampire, right? And I love that he clearly is in a graveyard scene. And then there's that fierce looking jack-o'-lantern in front of him. So I really enjoyed that part. So of course I had to put him near the trick-or-treaters because he does, he just wants you to get treats. Next to Stitch, I have a ton of villains. Not just villains, I'll explain, but mostly villains. And these are some of the pins from the villain set that I worked very hard to complete. But breaking news, I thought I completed this set, but I didn't. I was still missing one of the pins. I think I've just been able to purchase her, but it's my favorite too. It's like Maleficent, one of my favorites, my favorite female villain. But I did like this set because they had a lot of female villain representation. So you see Cruella, Chernabog, Mother Gothel, whose hair, I mean, come on. Hades is looking great, Jafar, Lady Tremaine, Scar. We have Madame Mim at the bottom, we have Shere Khan. And then flanking Madame Mim, I decided to put my other two Sword in the Stone pins, which are Madame Mim and Merlin. So I just feel like they're all looking so happy and this is just a real reminder. It's really not so scary.
Now you may notice that two of the kitty cat villains are near each other, and that was done on that, that was done on purpose. I didn't really put any of the other villains in a specific order, except I wanted these two kitty cats together, because I have some villainy kitty cat pins over here. They were from a cat booster set. I believe you can still get it. You can definitely get it on eBay, regardless. And we have this. We have Sai and Am, the Siamese cats from Lady and the Tramp. They're super evil. And then we have Lucifer, the kitty cat from Cinderella. And these are two of my favorite. Well, I guess Sai and Am. I have to count them as two, right? So these are three of my favorite villains. My favorite button from the Parkbound button unboxing was this. It's really not so scary button. I love how shiny it is every aspect of it the symmetry on it is just beautiful the ghosts are so cute the jack-o-lanterns are amazing the candy rocks like everything is perfect about this so i included this around the villains again to remind us that they're not so bad above them i have these two pins that kind of didn't fit into anywhere else but i still really liked i guess i could have put the star wars guys with my trick-or-treater pins but i didn't really have much room left over there so i have some more trick-or-treaters and on the left here you'll notice some star wars characters and they're all together they're working together the light and the dark side of the force to get some candy leading us from behind we have chewbacca yoda boba fett Darth Vader, and Leia. So those are some of the more iconic silhouettes from the series. And again, I got this pin from Allison's Pins on Instagram. Moving over, I have this Shelly Mae dressed as Maleficent pin, and I am just stunned by it. This is from Hong Kong, and they have a series of pins where Duffy especially, but also a, a few of Shelly Mae dressed up as different characters, and I'd like to get a bunch of the those for next year. But I had to get this one because Maleficent is my girl, and Shelly Mae I'm really starting to have an affinity for, and I love that you see her little bow on Maleficent's horns. So it just reminds us, you know, she's still cute, even though she might be a little scary. Branching out to the bottom of the board, I have the rest of the pins that I actually have from the Villain Cuties set. Frollo, Evil Queen, King Candy, Stromboli, who's totally reminding me of my husband, the Queen of Hearts, and my favorite bad boy, Gaston. I'll give up reading for Gaston any day. Like, she's not scary. She's adorable. Look at his oversized bow and his teeny tiny crown. Oh, I love him. Evil Queen has to be one of the absolute cutest from this whole set. And Frollo, somehow they made him look almost cute. Finally, let's pan out, and I have just a few more pins to show you, and this is representing, I didn't really want to include this on the board, but if you've been watching some of my recent videos, you may know that I am becoming a huge Nightmare Before Christmas fan, and I had asked my friend Candace at DisneyAddict.Trade on Instagram if the next time she sent me some pins, could she please pick me up a few Duffy and Friends park maps, and she did. They aren't Halloween themed, so I didn't include them yet, but you'll see them in the future, and she also threw in this um, times guide from Hong Kong Disneyland and it features this black and white oogie boogie and I just thought that was so cool looking I'm definitely gonna be keeping that map and I she gave me an even scarier one that I'm thinking next year's board is not gonna have an it's not so scary theme and it's gonna instead have a Disney can be quite scary theme so I'll include that one next year I'll have to hold on to it until then I'll give you a close-up I'll show you these pins and uh, give you a kind of recap of the board so you can see the Hong Kong Disneyland sign there and the um, characters underneath the English writing and I clo I, I held this on with an Oogie Boogie pin. I, pref I personally really enjoy this pin because I like Oogie Boogie better in his green form than his sandy color form, his tan form. That's a little creepier. So again, it's not so scary. This guy is looking a little scary, like let's be honest about that. And I like that he's holding that snake because it's there's an orange and black snake in the movie that is also reminiscent of the border of this pin so he's holding a snake which is great and i just think he is so so cool looking okay starting off in the corner i have two of the pins and i'll have two more from the nightmare before christmas ear hat pin unboxings the first is of course oogie boogie himself and he just has all of the bugs crawling out of his mouth because if you don't know oogie boogie is essentially just a sack of bugs which is really gross and um on his left ear he has his dice and the snakes that crawl out of the dice the right is his roulette wheel of death 
This is pretty phenomenal. John really likes this pin also, especially. Oogie Boogie is not one of my favorite villains, but he still made the board. <laughs> Moving down, we have such a sweet character. We have the happy side face of the mayor, and you know it's him as soon as you try to open one of these pins because he has the big stovepipe hat. And he has his maniacal grin that he just means to be friendly. And he has, this spider is kind of like his necktie. And then he has his mayor pin. And I really just get so happy looking at the happy mayor. He's becoming one of my more beloved characters actually now. Okay, this is definitely John's favorite pin from the set. And it's one of my tops as well. This is the Halloween Town pin from the set. And now that I've been watching the movie more, I understand this pin a lot better. This dog-looking Anubis-like thing is a straw, I think it's straw, or wood horse that Jack rides in on after Halloween at the start of the movie. And the pumpkin, Jack is called the Pumpkin King. There's a pole pumpkin Jack representation. So I really do like this one. I think it's the most overtly Halloween-y pin from the set. Then one John and I just opened, and I was so excited was this Zero pin, and Zero is my favorite character from Nightmare Before Christmas. His one ear is very simplistic with the bones, but the other side has his tombstone, which is his doghouse. That's where he lives. And it says Zero on it as well. You can't tell he has a bright orange jack-o'-lantern nose in this pin, which is my only critique of it, but I do love the whole black and white grayscale-esque color theme. Moving down, we get to Mr. Skellington himself, who now has become John's absolute favorite Disney character. I can't even believe it. He replaced Mulan as John's favorite Disney character. And I really like this pin. I had bad luck. I opened so many of these jacks in the Good vs. Evil set. But this is the matching pin to Boogie Boogie. That's the Good vs. Evil. Although, I mean, to be quite honest, Jack is not entirely good. He means to be, I think. He's just not. Moving down the second to last pin of this video, we have Oogie's Boys, we have, it is Lock, Barrel, and Shock, um, in that order, and Lock is the devil, Barrel is a skeleton, and Shock is a witch, and I, I first was very annoyed by these characters, but now they hold a very special place in my heart. I love the song where they talk about kidnapping Sandy Claus. And these are from the Best Friends Mystery Bag series. Final pin of the video moving down is a recent purchase of mine from Disney Pins Auctions, and it is a pin that represents the Skeleton Dance, which is a Disney short, and I haven't seen it in forever, but I still kind of have these snippets of it in my head, so I'd like to see if I could find it again. But this is definitely an older pin. You can tell there's some discoloration, like on the word, the letter N and on some of the skeleton parts, but I don't even care. I actually think that makes it look more cool. Uh, more Halloween-y. I love that they're in the silhouette of the, the moon, the creepy tree. I mean, there's nothing about this pin I really don't like. And it is the last pin on the board. So again, here is the overall board. You had the duck side, the trick-or-treaters, the cutie villains, the Nightmare Before Christmas ear hats, the characters in costume, and the steam pumpkins from Hong Kong. So I'd love to hear what your favorite section of this board was, your favorite pins overall, what you would love to see on upcoming pin boards, what you would put on a Halloween pin board thematically. If you like seeing the buttons, if you like the size of this pin board, Anything you'd like to share with me, I would love to hear from you. I had so much fun putting that pin board together. Um, I didn't know it could come out like as cool looking as it did. I can't wait to put together November's pin board, December's pin board. I already have an idea for January, although January, I don't know how, how many I'm going to be able to put on there, so I might have to get a smaller pin board. Yeah, so I'm going to have to decide, should I get like a smaller pin board for months that just aren't as themey, that don't have like the big you know, impact holidays. I have to really think about it because I don't want to like run out of pins to show you guys either too soon. <laughs> I don't think that would be a problem actually. <laughs> um, but there's only one day left until Halloween. If you're watching this video, obviously the day before Halloween. Um, tomorrow I am going to be announcing the giveaway winners from the Hong Kong pin set giveaway. And John's going to be in that one with me because he has a special little surprise for some of you. And I just can't wait. I'm so excited. I'm a little sad that Vlogoween is coming to an end and I'll be getting back to my normal two time a week uploading schedule of Mondays and Thursdays in November because your girl needs a little bit of a break. I need to have some of my weekend time back to myself. <laughs> um, but no, I've been having just such fun with Vlogoween. I might even try to do an extra video here and there in November 
we'll see fingers crossed we'll see um but i'll definitely have some really cool videos coming in november i already know what some of them are i've already filmed a couple of them <laughs> so they're gonna be really fun i think personally definitely make sure to connect with me in the comments i hope that you know if you've been doing trunk or treating or if you are you know have it if you're last minute and you haven't even gotten your halloween costume yet i mean good luck buddy um i wish you all the best let me know how your season is going and <sighs> I'll see you real soon.